Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to talk about implantation. So implantation is when we are going to see an attachment of the blastocyst to the uterine lining. So that blastocyst is going to form into the uterine lining. So this blastocyst specifically is going to secrete these proteolytic enzymes that will dissolve part of the endometrium. From here, the trophoblast that we discussed in the previous video is going to develop microvilli. And these are going to invade the endometrium so it can help put root into the endometrium so it doesn't fall out. The endometrium will then surround the blastocyst. And this is going to happen within the first and second week. The trophoblast is also going to produce HCG, as we mentioned before, to keep the corpus luteum viable and prevent the blastocyst from being rejected by the mother's immune system. The placenta is going to begin to form, and it's specifically going to form from the endometrium and the cells surrounding the embryo. So this is going to attach the embryo to the uterine wall and act as the bridge between the mother and the child so that nutrients, gas, and waste can exchange between the mother and the embryo. And here's an image of what some of this looks like. You can see here with the trophoblast and the blastocyst, how it's entering the endometrium, and then how the trophoblasts are going to send those microvilli into the endometrium. Here's another image with the endometrium and the lumen of the endometrium. So pre-implantation genetic diagno diagnoses can be performed and this is after vitro fertilization and before implantation cells can be removed uh, from cleavage embryos and have their genetics analyzed to see if there's any disorders. Healthy embry embryos can then be implanted back into the mother's uterus. If you are going, to, if someone were to do this, um, cleavage embryos, you can take about one or two cells and then the rest can develop normally after implantation. Then scientists can diagnose if there are any inherited diseases or illnesses that a child can't had gotten from the parents and in this case we're usually looking at cystic fibrosis or certain types of anemias that can be detrimental to the child's health you can also use this to find an embryo which after implantation and birth can provide umbilical cord stem cells so that's pretty incredible too what we can do with the stem cells so the embryo stem cells can be used for itself in the future or for a sibling who may be suffering from an inherited disease. So it's pretty incredible what can be done with the genetic and scientific advances that we have right nowadays. And again, using a procedure like this, we can take a cell out, look at its DNA, put the remaining cells back into the mother if everything looks normal, or not do so if there is a disease that is concerning. If you have any questions on anything we talked about in this video, please let me know.